Greetings, Safe Moon Army, and welcome to Liquid Coin. Just a reminder that you should like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell before continuing with this video. Let's chat about the Safe Moon news today. The Binance listing has been accepted. Is it going to be $0.003? Profit taking and mean reversion traders hammered the Safe Moon lower as the market struggled to find equilibrium now that everything on this channel is not investment advice, according to the channel's disclaimer. Even while the journey to the 7th of July will be difficult, it will not be insurmountable. After reaching new all-time highs on October 29th, the Safe Moon has had a retracement of more than 46% and the Safe Moon is still 40% below its prior all-time high, according to the most recent available data. Guys, a strong confluence zone of support may be able to limit and even boost the amount of selling pressure. They are currently experiencing significant distance between the clouds, Senkis, Band B at the top of the cloud horizon and the Key, according to Johnson, any decline below the Cayenne Sen might result in significant selling pressure that could push the price down to the Senkis band level, which would be a support. Nevertheless, support exists between those two Ichimoku levels. The price of the safe moon plummets by about 50% before finding support. 039 is the point at which the Fibonacci retracement, drawn from a weekly strong bar's all time high, crosses with the value area shared by the weekly 10 consent blue horizontal ray at 040 zero, which is a Fibonacci retracement in its own right. Given the fact that the safe moon price has bounced off the 50% Fibonacci retracement four times in the last six days, how likely is it that this confluence stone will sustain its position of strength? Guys, it's impossible that the oscillators were able to supply us with some useful information. Since rising over 100, the relative strength index has remained in positive territory, indicating a bull market. However, although it's not yet hit the first oversold level in the bull market, which is 50, it has bounced off its previous high of 55, indicating that upward momentum may continue. The composite index has also established a lower low in the category of designated extreme lows, increasing the likelihood that the safe moon price will, at the very least, reach some equilibrium in the area of its current value. It is possible that a close below the Fibonacci ratio of 50% may result in increased selling pressure on the safe moon price in the near future. As previously stated, the 161.8% Fibonacci expansion is located precisely at the top of 2021 volume point of control at 026 and above Senkis band B24, putting it right in the thick of things. If the safe moon price can sustain support near the 50% Fibonacci retracement, a consolidated market is the most likely outcome. After all, the safe moon subreddit is awash with posts about whales dumping their holdings based on publicly available blockchain data, and a wave of panic selling could be amplifying the recent price drop. Despite all of this, the overall sentiment on Reddit is largely positive. After all, everyone else gets a small cut of those big sale transactions, even if the price falls. Meanwhile, the SafeMoon Twitter account, which currently has nearly a million followers, is making use of a well-known crypto meme word to signify that it is sticking to its guns and not panic selling in the face of recent market volatility. Except for those few messages, the majority of the recent correspondence has been about the anticipated August 28th release of an official Secure Moon wallet program, which generated quite a bit of enthusiasm when it was first released into beta testing earlier this year. We'll have to wait and see if they can maintain their momentum. It is possible for SafeMoon to recoup some of its spring buzz if the majority of its reported 2.5 million unique wallet users who hold it maintain their diamond hands in the face of recent price declines. The fact that they compared Shiba Indulge with SafeMoon a great deal SafeMoon is separate from other coins. Even a tiny researcher can figure out if a Shiba is like a balloon that's about to explode. It's already started leaking Shiba Inu crashes. His Shiba Inu themed cryptocurrency is available because of the concentration of Shiba Inu holdings in whale wallets, proponents of Shib believe the cryptocurrency is highly centralized. The Dogecoin in Shib kicked off the entire season before she began to consolidate, and she has slipped to rank 11 Shiba Inu coin, last market capitalization to the Dogecoin, and slipped out of the top 10 cryptocurrencies. According to data from CoinMarketCap.com, Shiba Inu whales sold their Shib holdings, resulting in significant drop in the value of Shib. Shiba Inu ownership concentration has come under fire 
with a total of 872,382 wallets, controlling 72% of the SHIB stock market capitalization. This means that the largest whale wallet contains around 41% of the SHIB circulating supply, while the second largest whale wallet contains approximately 34% of the SHIB circulating supply. Despite the high level of transparency that exists in Bitcoin, experts have voiced concern that it is difficult to link wallets to specific individuals or businesses. This means that traders and investors are unaware of the concentration of whales and the actions of whales that have influenced the price of Bitcoin. SHIB was the first to achieve universal acceptance and superiority in the field of medicine. When the Asmian coin outpaced the other coins in terms of market capitalization, Doge currency dealers kept a close check on the movements of a SHIB whale wallet, which controlled more than 13% of the Doge coins circulating quantity at the time of publication. When Satoshi Nakamoto returns and has the power to make direct adjustments to Bitcoin's code and have them implemented to every miner and node in the network, Bitcoin will no longer be decentralized and trust in the system will be reduced accordingly. If Satoshi Nakamoto reappears and has the power to make direct adjustments to the Bitcoin code and have them implemented to every miner and node in the network, an investment in a safe moon would be pure speculation at this point because the technology has not yet even been proven in practice. Three fees are charged on transactions to various liquidity pools on PancakeSwap and other platforms. The first is Reflection, in which SafeMoon transactions are charged a fee, which is then distributed among token holders. The second is a fee charged on transactions to various cryptocurrency exchanges. And the third is a fee charged on transactions to various cryptocurrency exchanges. Third, each exchange results in the burning of a token. No proportion of each transaction is specified in either the white paper or any of the other content on this website. Website. The only thing that is said is that each transaction is taxed at a 10% fee, which is split in two ways. In the event that you do not wish to wait for a hypothetical SafeMoon listing on Binance, you can purchase Bitcoin right away. A SafeMoon coin can be purchased on Coinbase or another exchange, both of which are viable solutions. You'll need to use either PancakeSwap or Bit or the pancake switch orbit in order to obtain a safe moon. Before you can participate in the pancake swap and acquire a safe moon, you'll need to first download a wallet that is compatible with the Binance Smart Chain, such as the Trust Wallet. After that, you'll need to make a purchase using your Binance login credentials and your wallet. You can then use this BNB on the pancake swap to exchange for a safe moon, which you can get through the pancake swap. Guys, just wait and see if the safe moon will be the number one. Should you put your money into SafeMoon and go with a pancake swap? If you do, please share your experience with us in the comment section below. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I really, really hope that you found it informative. We ask that you please click like and subscribe to our channel so that you may see more interesting and great information in the future videos that we'll be uploading. Until then, take care and we'll see you next time. Also, just before you leave, don't forget to leave your valuable thoughts down in the comment section below this video, which will be very encouraging to us, as well as very helpful for all the other viewers who are trying really hard to learn more about cryptocurrencies.